How's it going everybody? Welcome back for another video. So today the purpose of this video is to show a neat little trick that I found for getting extra flashlights for your house in case of power outages or things like that. Um, a lot of people will go and buy those little like one or two or three dollar crappy plastic uh, flashlights from Walmart or hardware stores. The ones that they have a little tube that comes out and you put three triple A's in it. It barely makes any light. Um, instead of buying those, <clears throat> what I found is if you sign up for an account on olightstore.com Olight um, and you sign up for their marketing emails, every pretty much every holiday they have a sale. And usually, I'd say about 95% of those sales include some kind of a free light. Um, sometimes you have to make a purchase to get the free light, but most of the time you can just log in get the free light added to your cart and then um, just check out and just pay the shipping which is usually anywhere from three to five dollars so all the lights you see in front of you I've pretty much gotten for free just paid shipping on them um, when you consider that those crappy lights at the store cost like two three bucks and you're paying like three to five bucks for shipping for one of these lights it's pretty good um, a lot of people hate on Olight and they're obviously not the best light out there, but they are pretty good, and especially for these little keychain lights, um, for what you're getting for the price if you go this route and get them when they're pretty much free, then uh, it's a pretty good deal. So these are all different kinds. Some of them are discontinued. Some are still up. Um, it depends on what they're giving away at the time. Whatever it is, I just take it and uh, add it to the collection. And you can add these into drawers around the house. You can uh, clip them to a keychain, attach them to a pack, or uh, what I like to do is put them on the upper ledge of all the door frames in the house. So I've got nine of these guys so far. So that's pretty much enough to cover the whole house. So every door frame, uh, both sides of the door, I have one set up right on top of the door frame. And that just is easy for me to find. Um, I don't have a lot of drawers in this house, so any room that I'm in, I know there's a flashlight within arm's reach, so it works out pretty well. If you're worried about them falling off the ledge if you want to go that route, or if your molding around your doors isn't wide enough to hold the flashlight, you can do what I did and just put an extra little, uh, extra little keychain on them, and then you can put a push pin in the wall and just kind of hang it up wherever. That's an option too. Um, yeah, these are just simple little neat keychain lights. A lot of them have two brightness modes. Um, trying to work one-handed here. So you got a low and then high. Most of them are twist on and off. Um, some of these are AAA powered. Uh, these are sing usually the AAAs are single mode, just on or off. I mean, they're pretty bright for a little keychain light. This will definitely get you around the house if the power's out, let you find whatever you need. Um, those guys, they don't tend to give away as much anymore. They've kind of moved on, and what they've been giving away are these guys, which are rechargeable USB lights. Uh, some of the older ones are micro, and these usually have the two modes. Um... Some of them are micro, but they started doing a lot of USB-C ones now. So you just unscrew it all the way. It's got a charging port right there. Hopefully that'll focus. And then it's got a little LED indicator right on the side there. Red when it's charging, green when it's full. It doesn't take that long to charge, and they last for a pretty good amount of time. I'm not going to go over the specs of all these in this video. I'm doing another video where I go over all of the Olights that I have. And I'll list the individual specs in there, so I'll link that in the description of this if you want to check out, figure out what exactly these little keychain lights do. And I'll go over each light that I have, including all the ones you see here um, in that video. But this is just a quick video to kind of introduce the subject. Um, yeah, a lot of these are pretty nice. Like, the finish in this is really nice. They're drop safe. They're not going to break. Um, got a solid lens. Like I said, they're not the best flashlight on the market, but hey, if they're pretty much free, you can't beat that. And if you 
little trick that works on most scroll on flashlights uh, if you didn't know if you screw it to where it just barely turns on and then back it off till it turns off then you can actually pinch it close uh, to give it a, like a momentary on uh, some of them that works better than others that they're a little more springy but yeah just a neat little trick yeah, these, these things are pretty cool um, not aware of other manufacturers that do this kind of giveaway stuff. Um, I, that's one of the reasons that people hate on Olight, I guess, because they're kind of a little bit spammy and they go with the promotions all the time and limited edition colors and all this junk. But like these are all just random colors, you know. Usually I don't get to pick what color you get for the free gift, um, but I don't really care. They're just for emergency use and they're cheap flashlights to have around, so. Yeah, I'll show you where I usually put these guys. So I'll usually take one and just kind of stick it up on the top of the door frame. Right about there. And these are pretty thick molding, so they set up there just fine. But I am probably going to push pin them up just so they're secure. Uh, in the event of like an earthquake or something, they won't fall down, but I'm not that worried about it. Yeah, uh... Just want to make a quick video in case anyone wasn't aware of that little trick. You can get some pretty decent little flashlights. Um, I'd say I've probably been picking them up over the course of like a year and a half or two years. And I've got this many so far. So definitely worth your time to check out. Uh, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments below. And look for that next video coming out for a, an in-depth review of the specs on all these guys. So thanks for checking out another video. Rocks out.